Welcome to WordPressHowToTips.com. In this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about my favorite plugin, my favorite WordPress plugin, and that's really hard to, uh, to narrow down. Um, this happens to be Quick Cache, and as you can see, Quick Cache, in parentheses, a WP Super Cache alternative. Now, this is a relatively new player on the cache scene, um, but it, uh, in my estimate, and trust me, I've tried them all, uh, this is the best WordPress cache plugin available. So let's uh, explore a little bit more so I can give you some insights and kind of support my, uh, my bold uh, analysis. So uh, I, I welcome you to uh, check out the, uh, the plugin uh, in the plugin directory at wordpress.org. Of course, you can install it very easily by going to your uh, WordPress admin area, clicking on plugins, and of course going to add new, and then you can go ahead and type in quick cache, spell it properly, and of course search plugins, and once you find it, uh, go ahead and click install. You'll be prompted with a new window here and of course I already have the latest version installed um, but you would just go ahead and click install now and follow the prompts and when you follow the prompts after you're done you'll be greeted with this new dialog here where my mouse is now hovering on the left hand side. So Quick Cache has its own unique um, area here to manage all of its properties. Of course you can go to Quick Cache Info. Uh, one of the things I noticed immediately about this particular plugin is it's so highly documented. So there is uh, all the installation instructions, all the descriptions, uh, all the details uh, about this particular plugin. Um, and once again this is such a highly detailed, well authored um, plugin. I think it's really really great. So go ahead and zoom back up here. We'll go ahead into our configure options. Now one of the things that I love absolutely most about this particular plugin is it's easy. So you can see all of your features here and of course you can click this uh, plus symbol to extend all the windows and you can read a description and the authors have been kind enough to put a very plainly uh, you know, scripted description of the feature and when and when it, uh, when it should be used and when it should be avoided. So uh, by default all of their uh, you know, recommended settings are uh, configured here. Now here's the thing I love most about this particular plugin is the ability, and I'm going to scroll down here, the ability to um, to go ahead and uh, I'm down here now over sitemap auto caching. So what you can do, and you should already have um, you know this particular um, plugin installed, it's another uh, popular WordPress plugin, it's Google sitemap plugin for WordPress. So you can see there's a link to it right here. Uh, if you don't already have it, uh, this will help you generate a uh, Google uh, sitemap. Um, so it's effectively what you can do with this particular plugin is you can copy the URL to your sitemap and of course if you go over to your, we'll go back up here, we'll go to settings and I'll go to, uh, oh, shame on me I haven't installed the Google sitemap plugin yet, but if you click on settings you can actually copy the URL um, for your sitemap and you can copy it into, uh, into the setting right here. So I'd go ahead and put the full URL to your XML sitemap. And effectively, what the cache plugin is going to do is it's going to automatically cache pages based on your sitemap. So one of the greatest challenges with caching is once the cache expires, you know, it has to be rebuilt. And it has to be rebuilt um, using one of your visitors. And oftentimes, that can be a really slow, sort of a tedious, excruciating process, uh, waiting for that you know, page to be generated and, and to be cached. Uh, so it'll be served up uh, for your next visitor. So you can take pride knowing that your um, all of your pages and posts they'll always be cached uh, because of the sitemap function. So that's one of the things that I think is really unique is sort of an auto uh, you know um, cache utility, and that's built right into Quick Cache. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. Once again, I can go and just expand one of these at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Enable, and uh, we'll work our way down. Most of these I'm not going to even touch. Um, Client-side caching, uh, this is one I like to leave uh, as cached, so I go and change that to true or allow. And basically this is double caching, meaning you're going to allow the browser, you know, your visitor's browser, to cache the page, you know, store information, and you're also going to um, you know, force the plugin to do caching as well. So it's kind of like a double cache. I'm going to go and scroll down. Once again, I, you can activate uh, sitemap auto cache. So those are really the three uh, changes that I make. Uh, in the in the plugin here and I'll just click uh, save changes. Now one of the other things that I really love about this plugin is if you go into a post and you make a change or you make a change to a page, you add new information, you'll get a notification that says that that information has been automatically updated and added to the cache. 
So really on the fly as you make changes, which I constantly do, um, I, I always have knowledge that um, it's automatically being cached as I make those changes. Now in order to see um, the, the plugin in, in its uh, active state, uh, now that we've enabled it, I'll go ahead and log out and I'm going to revisit the page. So you do have to be logged out and I do recommend uh, refreshing the page. But in, in order to ensure that it's actually active, if you right mouse click and you go to view page source, this will show you all the coding available. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom. And what you should see is this information down here starting at, uh, in my case, line 254. It says this quick cache file was built for, and of course it will say your URL, and of course it will showcase the time. Now you want to make sure um, that the very bottom most line it will say quick cache is fully functional. And that's how you know that the file is, uh, or the plugin is working uh, properly. Now if you're not seeing that, uh, you want to make sure that you've A, logged out uh, properly. Uh, you've also uh, want to make sure that you refresh your page. And if you still don't have any success, uh, make sure to read through some of the documentation. I would take the time to do that, troubleshooting. Um, also, at Primo Themes, I should have mentioned that that is the developer of this particular plugin. Um, so you can always visit the plugin homepage, which is Primo Themes. And these guys have actually created some really, really cool uh, plugins that are free. Um, so make sure to check those out as well. One in particular that I have to brag about because I use it on one of my sites is, let me see if I can't find, um, it's uh, basically for ads. Let's go down and see if we can't find it. It is, let's see, they have a great membership plugin too. Ad codes, this is a really slick AdSense widget that I, uh, that I use on one of my websites. So make sure to take a look at that. At any rate, uh, you can always visit the, uh, what is effectively comments and forums. Uh, at primothemes.com to learn more about Quick Cash, to engage um, the uh, Jason, who is the uh, lead developer of the program. And I have to brag, this is the only and very first plugin donation I've ever made in my uh, WordPress experience. And I'm ashamed to admit that, but it goes to show how much I like Quick Cash. I think it's definitely appropriate for a vast majority of WordPress uh, blogs and WordPress driven websites. Um, now, I don't want to diminish or take away from some of the other. Uh, cache plugins. I think W3 Total Cache is an awesome uh, plugin. It is a little more advanced, it takes a lot more configuration and dialing in. It also, um, because the nature of it, you know, it is so complex and comprehensive that it uh, can lead to some issues. So I think that that should be reserved for um, folks using dedicated servers, uh, people that have a little more competency with, uh, you know, working with, uh, you know, WordPress and, and coding and things of that nature. So definitely check out Quick Cash. It's easy to install. It's easy to uninstall if you hate it or you don't like it. Um, and just make sure to check it out. It's awesome.